Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is going to be the first video I upload. So there's going to be a lot of issues that I need to fix. Um, as I was going through the videos that I recorded, you can see where the camera is wobbling a lot and it's kind of hard to watch. There's a lot of gaps in between the videos. Mainly because I was using my phone, I didn't really want to take my phone out all the time and be talking to it, which is kind of awkward since it was like the first time. It just doesn't feel normal, even this now it doesn't feel normal talking to the camera. Um, but nonetheless, I'm going to upload it just so I can use it as a reference point later down in the future and see my improvements. Now, the reason why I want to make, or the reason why I made this channel is more so because of my dogs. I kind of want to have like a little history of them. But I also want to cover topics that don't just revolve around my, my dogs. I want to talk about dog food, I want kibble, I want to talk about raw food, I want to talk about books, books that I've read about dogs that I would like to review, suggest suggest them to the community, and by community I mean, I mean like dog owners. Um, vet facts, you know, I've had a lot of issues with some vets here in my city that really like they kind of say what they think and not so much what is true i think that we have to base our knowledge on facts and not so much of what we've been told um you should always challenge what you know now i want to make this channel informative as well you know i don't want it to just be like vlogs you know i think that we as a community of dog owners need to keep ourselves informed, keep ourselves up to date with all the news, the information regarding our dog's health, how we can improve them, and how we can make their lifestyles easier. Because at the end of the day, they don't have a voice. We are their voice, and we're the ones that have to make sure that our dogs are getting the best uh, care they, they, they're getting. Now, I wanna talk a little bit about my dogs, um, Fenrir, I call him Fen, so if you hear me, saying Fen, that's me referring to him. He is a Blue Bay Shepherd. When I received him, I ordered an Embark test and I got the results back. I don't have the results in front of me, but I know I know him, the percentage mainly. So he came out like 37.8% Wolf, 34% German Shepherd, 19% Husky, 11% Malamud, and like 3% Collie. Now, this channel is not going to be like some of the other ones that I've seen where they own wolf dogs and they make the wolf dogs seem like they're dogs. Fen is not a dog. He is a low content wolf dog. He very much acts like a wolf dog. He does not act like a dog. And I don't want people to confuse my videos with me trying to imply or you know show a sign or a sign of fan that they're not seeing i will be sure to post the truth because i think if you're going to buy a wolf dog you have to be you have to inform yourself now he at this point right now when i'm recording this video he's eight and a half months old he won't mature until he's two years old and i think he's gonna get a little girl spurt as far as his eye goes right now i I think last time I measured him, he was like 27 inches, 26, 27. He's around 75 to 85 pounds. He's been fluctuating because it's summer here, so he's been shedding a lot and getting skinnier. So I'm not even, I'm not even worried about weighing him. Now, Ghost, he's a Dogo Argentino. I, I was completely fascinated about the breed when I was researching into it. And I definitely will make a video about both of their breeds and explaining um, my experience with them. And as you know, from puppies to adulthood. Now, Ghost is very much the opposite of Fen, uh, appearance-wise and maybe not behavior-wise, but in some aspects, yes, because he's very nonchalant. He's very carefree. He doesn't. He's not afraid of anything. He sleeps all day, and Fen is the complete opposite. Fen will not sleep. Fen will not sleep at all. He is the lightest sleeper. I can scream at Ghost, be like, Ghost, yo, his name out. He will stay asleep. Then, if I literally sneeze, this dude wakes up and gets up and just kind of like, okay, what was that? You know? So, 
I'm, I will make a video just going in depth about their breeds and my experience with them. So yeah, Ghost at this point is four and a half months old. He will be five months here in like two and a half weeks. So yeah, without any further ado, here's the video that I recorded with a lot of issues and I do accept constructive criticism because that is the only way that we'll, I will be able to ensure that this channel progresses in a good way. Thank you. Yo, what's up guys? We're here hiking through Pedernales Falls, Texas, about an hour and a half away from San Antonio. Um, it's about 80 degrees out right now, pretty humid. I'm with my four month old Dogo Argentino ghost up there. I let him off because he's a little bit more relaxed. I got my eight and a half, eight and a half month old Blue Bay Shepherd Fenrir, call him Fen. He is a low content wolf dog, came out at 37% gray wolf on his embark. He, I have him hooked on me just because he's very chill, but you know, people will see a big dog like him and kind of freak out and we're just enjoying the hike right now having a good time i'm with my friends we're uh some fire ants trying to get to the pond trying to get these babies wet we're about a quarter of a mile away from the little pond or i wouldn't call it a pond it's more like a creek area the river the creek, bed. creek bed whatever it is just enjoying the Texas heat right now. My dogs kind of aren't. You know, you can see how how Fan's been shading his shedding his coat right now, and I feel bad for him because it's probably really hot for him. Ghost, on the other hand, has very thin hair, very thin hair. But nonetheless, we march on. Haven't seen any horses yet. Lots of ants. Ghost got a little bit wet. He fell inside a little hole with water. Fan same. Pulled down a little bit. Say hi, Edward. Fan scouting the area. It's obvious, very cautious. Not a guard dog at all, just very cautious. Look at this. Watch. <laughs> Just hide that. Hide that there. We're doing Wolf Trail Creek. It's not as hot as yesterday. A little bit colder. We got Fan and Ghost again. This trail is a lot longer than the ones we did yesterday. The ones we did yesterday were more, uh, had more water uh, than this one. This one's a little bit of creeks here and there. Um, still in Pernales Falls, Texas. Um, so far it's pretty chill. It's kind of drizzling. So it's, it's really nice. Except that it's kind of hot. So like after it drizzles it does get a little bit humid. Ghost has been keeping up. We're at about 3 miles now. It's pretty good. Fan. Still shedding. Still enjoying himself. I got him hooked to me. Um, because there's a lot of bikers around here. And he kind of freaks out with bikes if they're just randomly appear. If he doesn't see them, um, if he does see them, he kind of doesn't really care. But if they just creep up on him, he, he freaks out. And he's pretty big, so, uh, you know, people would, <laughs> I don't think people would enjoy that. Ghost is still very tiny, so I just leave him off leash. Hook him up to me only every once in a while if there's, like, a ledge. But if not, I just let him loose. <sighs> so, yeah. Not bad scenery. Route. It's pretty decent um, compared to the other ones that we did where there wasn't really any trails. It was kind of just off trail stuff, which is really annoying when you have dogs because you can't just take them on a the trail. You have to like carry them down the cliffs and stuff, which is what I had to do. It wasn't really a cliff. It was more like little ledges. Um, but this one has a lot of trails, which makes it a lot easier for people with dogs. So we made it to this little waterfall area pretty nice the water is really clean you can see like the bottom of it so 
Freddy's over there setting up his camera. I feel like the dogs are really gonna enjoy this spot. Um, mainly for me, what I look for is spots like these that the dogs can benefit from because they do get overheated quite easily. And it's always nice to just stop, take a little 20 minute break, have them enjoy the water. Um, take like a little, little chill pill, you know. You see they're drinking from it and it's the water is good to clean i mean it's it's fine for them to drink from it's it's clean it's clear it's being filtered by the rocks um trust me you know there's dogs in the streets that drink a lot worse water than this uh, so i'm sure they'll be fine but it's really nice there's you can see like the the background as well um once again this is Pe pedernales falls this is the nicer area that we ran into, so if you do come, look out for the creek, the wolf trail. It's called a wolf trail. Um, it, it's honestly the best one we've done so far. So just keep that in mind if you do decide to come and if you have dogs. Cool part about having a fluffy dog is that you have a portable pillow. You just lay on him whenever you want. It's chill. So we just got done with the little waterfall thing. We're about to continue on Wolf Mountain Trail. <laughs> We're about to continue on the Wolf Mountain Trail. Um, this is Fan's natural habitat, as Edward said, because it's the Wolf Mountain Trail. He's a wolf dog. Oh, we lost Fan. Oh, there he is. Fan decided to take the alternate route. Uh, unfortunately, we're gonna leave. Oh, okay, he's peeing. Um, it's contaminating the water, unfortunately, for the fishes. It's drying out anyways, doesn't matter. Yeah, I found an idea. I got an idea. You found an idea. Found come on, Finn. I have an idea for a video. Let's go, Finn, come on! <laughs> Good boys! Alright, now we can go back. Let's go! Ben's having a good time right now. He's uh he's enjoying the being off leash. Gets to really run around and be free. Cause I feel like if I'm on if I'm on the leash, he kind of restrains himself from running. He like pulls, so you can tell he wants to keep going faster. But I mean, it's only we can only go so fast as we're walking, so we don't tire ourselves out. But he has a lot of energy, and apparently. So does Ghost because he's not afraid to run and play with him. <laughs> he's like running and he's biting his ear like trying to trying to stop him. Trying to play with each other. So that marks the end of the video. I'm going to go ahead and share some pictures that I took that I'd just like to share with y'all. Um, I took some of Ghost, some of Fan. Um, I thought they looked kind of cute. So I decided to put them at the end of the video just to kind of wrap it all up. You'll see that there's still a lot of water in the park that we went to. There's a lot of different terrain. If you have dogs, I would recommend that you take them to areas that have water. Now, this park didn't have a lot of trails, like I mentioned in some of the videos, when you went to the northern part. It was kind of annoying because we'd have to carry my dogs down the cliffs, down the ledges, and whatnot. So, that's something to look out for if you're going to go to hikes and you're taking your dogs, make sure that one, dogs are allowed, and two, that they have trails accessible. That way it's easy for you to take them places and you don't have to be wasting time going back and forth. So, hope you enjoyed the video.